Hi, good morning. Welcome to this another series lecture in Electrotechnology number 3. So ngayon, ang pag-usapan natin is yung tinatawag nating direct online motor starter. So last time, diniscuss natin yung basic working principle of how an electric motor works or three-phase at single-phase induction motor. So ngayon, titingnan natin ngayon, how are we going to start that motor? So the easiest way among the three, yung direct online, uh, forward, reverse, at saka sa yung wide delta motor starters, yung pinakamadali sa kanila is yung direct online or yung commonly known as the DOL. So yan yung topic natin ngayon. So without much further ado, let's get started. Okay, so uh, in this lecture here, we will divide uh, this lecture into two parts. So the first part is this one, is yung animated video natin. And then the second part of this lecture is yung uh, diagram natin uh, in our motor control trainer. Okay, so as what we can see in our figure here, so ito yung uh, simulated model natin. So in this model, makikita natin yung uh, working ng uh, overload relay natin, yung contactor natin, yung fuse, at saka yung uh, three-phase motor natin. Kasi doon naman sa AKTS, yung sa next lecture kasi natin, uh, hindi natin ma-include sa simulation yung uh, overload relay. Kasi yun yung limitation ng software natin. So that is why uh, we have to use this uh, another uh, animation. Okay? So tingnan natin. So we have the parts here. So yung selector switch. Okay? So in this particular model, yung switching element natin is yung uh, selector switch, selector knob. Okay? We have the on, off, on, off. At saka yung sa kabila naman, yung later on, yung sa part 2 ng video natin, yung gagamitin natin doon is yung push button. Okay? So the main difference here is yung sa selector switch natin, nag-hold na siya. Okay? Pag yung knob natin, nilipat natin sa on, automatic mag-on na siya kahit bitawan mo siya. Okay? Yung sa push button naman natin, we have to add yung tinatawag nating holding contact para uh, mag hold yung circuit natin in that particular uh, event or in that particular scenario. Okay? So, ito yun. We have the selector switch. And then this one here, yung OL, that is our overload relay, overload thermal relay. And then we have here the contactor. And then we have the fuse. And then ito, ito yung mga terminal blocks. Okay? And then we have here yung sa uh, motor. This is our three-phase motor. And then we have the load selector. Okay? Ito yung magiging dummy load natin. And then ito yung sa tachometer natin, which will measure the RPM of our motor. Okay? So, tingnan muna natin ang yung uh, schematic uh, diagram. So, yung schematic diagram niya is nandito. Yan. So, yung schematic diagram natin eh, is divided into two parts. So, we have the uh, control circuit at saka yung tinatawag nating power circuit. Yung sa control circuit, dun, dito nangyayari yung uh, switching natin. Then sa power circuit, nandito yung loads natin. Okay? So, sa control circuit muna tayo. Okay? So, we have here yung sa line 1. So, line 1 here. Ito yung sa line 1 natin. Okay? Yan yung sa line 1 natin. Yan. Papunta dun sa switch. Which is papunta sa switch. Yan. Ito papunta dito sa switch. And then... Uh, yung labas ng switch natin, papunta dun sa overload uh, relay natin. So, yung overload natin dito is this one. So, you have the 7, 8, at saka 9, at saka 10. Okay? Yung 7, 8 natin dito, yan yung normally open na contact ng ating overload relay. So, normally, kinukunik natin yan dun sa mga uh, fault lamps. Okay? But in this particular scenario here, wala tayong fault lamps. So, ibig sabihin yan, pag normally open yan, so, the moment na nag-trip yung overload natin, so, mag-iilaw na yung uh, fault lamp natin. But in this particular case, wala tayong fault lamp. So, yung 9 at saka 10, yan yung normally closed na overload uh, relay natin. So, later, i-discuss natin ano bang, uh, gaano ka-importante yung kinunek nating overload relay na yan na normally uh, closed. Okay? And then, yung isang paa, pagkatapos ng uh, switch natin, pinasok natin sa overload, Yung isang paa ng switch natin, pinasok natin sa ating overload. Okay? And then, yung isang uh, paa dun sa overload natin, pinasok natin sa coil ng outing contactor. Okay? So, take note here, ito yung contactor natin, yung A at saka B natin, yan yung coil of our contactor. 
And then yung 1 at saka 2, yan yung uh, contacts, yung main contacts natin. First main contact, 3 at saka 4. Second main contact, four, 5 at saka 6. Yan yung uh, third main contact. And then ito naman, yung sa baba dito, ito yung mga auxiliary contacts natin. Okay? So later on, gagamitin natin to to implement our uh, holding contact at saka yung other lumps. Okay? So as of this moment, in this particular circuit here, hindi natin to kailangan. Walang connection. Okay? So nandito na siya. So yung labas ng overload natin, ito yung overload natin, normally close ng overload, papunta dun sa coil. So B. So nandito yan. So yung labas ng uh, coil natin, uh, labas ng overload natin, papunta dun sa coil. And then yung labas ng coil natin, which is the A, pabalik dun sa line 2. So pabalik dito sa line 2. Okay, so tapos na tayo sa control circuit. Tingnan natin natin ngayon yung sa uh, power circuit naman. Yung sa power circuit natin, we have the uh, line 1, line 2, line 3, yung sa breaker. So circuit breaker natin. So ito na yung labas. So yung circuit breaker natin, nandito na sa, uh, sa labas. So nandito yung breaker natin. Okay, yan yung breaker natin. And then yung, out, yung mga wires nito, papunta na dito, palabas dyan. So ibig sabihin yan, Yung 4, 5, at saka 6, yan na yung mga wires natin na uh, galing dun sa breaker. Yan, yung mga wires na ganyan. So, itong tatlong wires na to papunta dun sa tatlong fuses natin. Okay, tingnan natin. So, yung tatlong mga wires na yan, papunta na sa fuse 1, papunta sa fuse 2, papunta dun sa uh, fuse 3 natin. Okay, and then yung tatlong fuse natin, papunta dun sa uh, tatlong main contacts. Normally open contacts natin. Ito yan. So C1. So yan. Papunta dyan. Papunta dyan. Papunta dyan. Yung connection natin dyan. Nandito yan. 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 Okay. And then, yung labas ng normally open contact natin, yung 2, 4, at saka 6, 2, at saka 4, 6, papunta dun sa overload relay natin. Dun sa second part, although hindi natin ito ma-discuss yung overload relay because of the limitation of the our software na IKTS, but in our actual dun sa pag-wire natin dun sa uh, motor control trainer sa electrotechnology laboratory room natin, maglalagay tayo ng overload relay. That is why it is very important na alam natin saan banda to i-connect. Okay? So, tingnan natin. So, the overload relay, pagkatapos nito, papasok to sa overload relay. So, yan. Yung labas ng contactor natin, yung labas ng contactor, tatlong wires, papunta dun sa overload relay natin. So, yan. Papunta dun sa overload relay natin. Okay? And then, ito na yung overload relay natin. And then, ito, yung labas ng tatlong overload uh, overload relay natin, yung tatlong wires na yan, yun na yung papunta dun sa motors natin. Okay? So, yan. Yung tatlong wires, yan. Papunta dun sa terminal block. Yung may terminal block siyang nilagay. And then, papunta dun sa motor. Yung motor natin dito, Okay, yung motor, ito na yung tatlong motor. So, if you're going to click this one, kita natin yung wiring diagram. So, ito yung tatlong wires na yan, pa-connect siya dun sa loob ng ating motors. Motor, okay? So, ano pa ba? So, let's let's try. Tingnan natin ngayon yung functionality of this uh, circuit. Okay? Uh, so, by the way, before I forgot, so ano bang importante ng overload relay natin dito? Yung overload relay natin, Parang relay siya, but our uh, actuator is nandito banda sa load side. Andito sa power circuit natin. Okay, ano bang ibig sabihin yan? Uh, ano bang purpose nito? Take note guys, yung sa overload natin, if there is an increase, sudden increase in current, pag nag-overload tayo, iinit yung wires natin. Pag uinit yung wires natin because of the increase in current, itong dito banda na to, mag-open yan. Ito yung mag-trigger. Triggering, uh, triggering, uh, point natin. So, pag nag-activate yan ngayon, so parang ganito pa rin. Parang yung sa contactor. Okay? But other than the coil of the contactor, ito na yung mag-activate na yan. So, pag nag-activate yan ngayon, okay? Pag nag- Okay? So, pag nag-uminit, tapos nag-activate, and then, lahat ng mga OL, mga OL dun sa control circuit natin, mag-change yung state. So, in this particular case here, pag nag-activate yung OL natin dito, this one here will normally close man yan, so mag-open. So kahit anong switch ng selector, uh, kahit anong on ng selector switch mo, hindi talaga to mag-on yung circuit mo other than i-trip mo yung uh, overload mo, okay? So so much from that, i this i-run muna natin to and then 
we will uh, try yung overload later. Okay? So, let's start. So, punta ka sa breaker, make sure naka-turn on, and then click mo lang yung on. Okay? So, makikita natin dito na yung RPM of our motor is 1,763 RPM. Okay? And then, i-off natin. Okay? So, very simple. Okay? So, tingnan natin yung diagram. The moment pag-switch nito, i-switch mo yan, this one will activate. Okay? Pag-activate ng contactor mo ngayon, yung coil ng contactor mo, hanapin mo lahat ng mga C1 na normally open at saka normally closed. Kasi mag-change state yan. So, in this particular case here, isa lang. Yung nandito na C1. So, the moment pag-switch mo na nito, this one will activate, and then this one here, yung C1 natin, mag-close yan. So, pag-close yan ngayon, yung kuryente natin makakadaan na from this one here, yung sa breaker natin, close, 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 makakadaan na, papasok dito sa overload natin, since wala naman tayong problema sa overload, aandar yung motor natin. Okay? So, as simple as that. So, tingnan, -uli ulitin muna natin. On. Yan, so nag-build up na siya. And then, off natin. Okay? So, yan. So, Tingnan natin ngayon na uh, magtitrip yung breaker. So, paano ba natin ito um, i-force na matitrip yung breaker? Ganito lang yan. On, off, on, off. Okay. Ayan lang natin. Yan. So, nakita mo dito, yung yan na yan, tumaas. Okay? So, ibig sabihin niyan yung breaker ay yung overload natin, nagtitrip nag na yung overload natin because there is uh, an increase of current kasi sa surge current kasi yan. The moment na pinaandar mo yung motor, yung kuryente mo is tataas yung ampirahe mo. Okay? Kaya nga ang tawag natin yan is surge current. So, yung transient current mo, taas yung value and then later on, mag-normalize yan. So, pag ang motor mo on-off, 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 on-off mo, iinit yung uh, overload mo at saka magtitrip yung overload relay. So, in this particular case yan, nagtitrip na, nag na yan. So, pag-trip na yan, so ibig sabihin, kung nag-trip na ito, this one here will open. So, pag na-open na yan, kahit anong pindot natin yung switch natin, hindi talaga mag-activate yung uh, coil ng contactor natin. So, pag hindi ito nag-activate yung contactor natin, kahit anong pindot uh, switch natin to, ito pa rin, mag, hindi yan mag-close. So, patay yung motor natin. So, subukan natin. Okay? Nakatrip yung breaker, na, ah, nakatrip yung overload natin. So, kahit anong switch natin dyan, hindi talaga mag-on yung motor natin. So, how are we going to rectify this problem? So, ang gawin lang natin is, i-check mo yung trouble, kung may trouble ba, yung overload ng motor natin, and then pag wala naman, click mo lang yan. Okay? And then, subukan mo ulit paandarin yung motor. Okay? Okay, so sa next video natin, titingnan natin yung sa another type of another type of uh, circuit kasi yung nandito na circuit natin madali lang. I-apply natin yung holding contact natin at saka yung another normally close na contact natin sa ating contactor. Okay? So, if you have some questions or clarifications, please comment down below and I will try to answer your questions as soon as I can. So, good luck and God bless.